how to white label your go high level SaaS. White labeling is a powerful concept. And if you are a business owner or digital marketer, you're going to want to listen up. I'm going to break it down for you. I'm going to open up a few apps, show you how to do it. My name is Pamela Dale, your DHL gal. I'm excited to show you how to make some money with your SaaS business. So you and I both know that Go High Level is a very powerful all-in-one marketing platform. And for you to found it here now at this time and want to white label it, I think you are in divine timing. Go High Level is not at the critical mass point, that part on the curve yet. So it's a very powerful place for you to be venturing into this white labeling. So let's talk about white labeling. What is it? You and I are using white labeled products all the time and don't always know it. So we've got batteries, we've got cosmetics, we've got soap, we've got software. And Go High Level gives you the ability to put your lipstick on it, your little wrapper on it, and then you get to sell it for the price that you want to the people that you want. And you are responsible for driving traffic. You are responsible for selling it and supporting it, but you are not responsible for the developmental costs of it. Now, you and I may or may not have any idea what that looks like. I'm telling you, talking to Go High Level, we're talking millions and millions of dollars. And the strength, fortitude, business know-how to manage that size of business and employ that number of people. So great that you're here and you're thinking about doing this and you're wondering, how does it actually work? There are a number of different things that we need to take a look at when we are white labeling our Go High Level account. So how to white label Go High Level SaaS? You need to think about your domain and you need to think about your logo. So you need to think about the branding, the visual branding and the name of it, the branding. And the name should bring about a connotation to it for you and who you're going to serve. So we need to take a look at how are we going to use the domain and what domain would it be? I recommend a domain that you can get the .com to and that you can get something like a .io. If you would like to use the .com for your sales page for your SaaS, and then what you can do is you can do app.yourdomain.com for the login, or you could do app.yourdomain.io. Those are some things you need to think through. And I love to just get some ideas, get into somewhere like Namecheap or GoDaddy and just see what's available. And then I find when I'm talking to people and working with people who want to white label, we just walk away for a bit and give it a little bit of thinking room. But maybe you've had a name just appear for you. Love it when that happens. And maybe you're ready to get started. So to white label, we need Cloudflare. Some people will not use Cloudflare. I'm 100% want Cloudflare. I love Cloudflare. It's going to give you that little extra layer of security that once you get really big, you're going to need it. You're going to remember my words. So. What I want to do is open up high level and open up Cloudflare and show you how to do this. My account is already set up. I do not want to remove my domains, but they're not hard to do once you know how to do it. So let's jump over into my go high level account. Excellent. So you'll see here that I've got app.clienttracks.com. That is what I've chosen as my domain for my software. And I chose app. Just it's common, it's easy to understand, but you wanna just be simple as well. You don't wanna to get too clever. You want something that people are going to be able to remember. So when you come into your dashboard, you're gonna come all the way down on the left-hand side on the agency level and click on settings. And then you're gonna come here to company. Here, you're going to find the white label domain and your API domain. What are the differences? Your white label domain is how you're going to log in and how your users are going to log in. Now, you can still log in with app.gohighlevel.com, but you want to be sure that you're logged in with your domain. And then your API domain is for the links. If someone was going to use a raw form or a raw calendar, sometimes in the back end, it still says something like lead connector or... So what you're able to do is white label that domain as well. So we're going to jump over into Cloudflare and I'm going to show you how to do these. So you want to think through what's your domain and then what are those two subdomains that you need. So once we jump over here into Cloudflare, you'll see that I have mine already. I've got the app and I've got the link. These are both CNAME records. If you take a look over here, 
they will show you, if you click here, it's going to open up how to add in that domain. And here's the record that you need to copy for the first one. So let's pretend we're not here and let's go add a new record. We're going to add a C name record. And here I'm going to type app, which is my subdomain. And then I'm going to copy this here and I'm going to go ahead and paste it. And I'm going to turn the cloud off or the proxy off. I want DNS only, and I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Next, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'll just cancel this one. I'm going to add a record again. It's going to be a C name here. I like the word link and I'm going to copy what they stay state here. It's hard to see, but it's link.msgsndr.com. So I didn't write that down anywhere. I'm just going to grab it from inside mine already because I have it. And then that's the same target. And I'm going to turn this off. You want to be very sure that you do not have extra spaces above or after no white. And you're going to go ahead and hit save. Make sure this proxy is off as well. And you are going to be able to log in. So once you have those in, what you're going to do is you're going to come back here and you're going to type the domain that you created. What was your subdomain before your domain? You're going to go app dot and then your domain dot com. And then what was the subdomain you chose for the links? You're going to choose that, type that, and then dot client tracks dot com. And then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to hit update company. What I do right then and there is recommend you sign in through that. So if you have app dot client tracks day, for example, if it said app dot go high level dot com, you can simply just type your new domain in. It'll ask you to relog in and you are laughing. Next, what we want to think through is your logo. If you choose to have a dark or a light, if I hit light and update company, my logo kind of disappears. So the first thing you want to think through is what is the branding for your app? What are the colors? Will it be a darker version or a lighter version? So if it's darker or lighter, you'll need to have the opposite of the logo color. So this here recommends that it's 350 by 180. You'll notice when I put it on dark that mine is a little bit different dimensions. You're going to need to think through what does your logo look like? Mine is in two words, so there's an option to go all the way across, or I have a stackable one that I'll show you in a moment. This here I did at 3,500 by 900. I made it really big so that I could place it well. So I've given you those dimensions in the blog post that's associated with this post. So if I change this and I want to choose my stackable logo, I like it better with it a little bit bigger and stacked that way. So I'm going to put it onto the light and update so you can see it. But you could easily upload a darker or a lighter version, depending on, again, which one you've got. So next, I love favicons. I love lipstick. So you'll see here on every app, every tab for every piece of software or thing that you're logged into, there's a little icon, right? So this is this one here. So in the blog post, what I've done as well is given you the JavaScript. So this here is the link right in here for the image. It does need to be hosted somewhere. So what I do is I upload it into my account that the SAS belongs to. So mine is client track. So we're going into client track and then I go to sites. And then I'm going to come over here to media and I'm going to, I like to put things in folders. So we have an icon here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click. Once you've uploaded it, you're going to get the link. Then you're going to come back. Now you can certainly take this code out of here and put it on a notepad, which is what I've done here. So this is my link here that I just copied and I'm going to take this. I'm going to copy this and then right in between the little squiggly things here, there are the like one quotation mark, right? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste that in. You must keep that little quotation mark there. This is going to be a little bit hard to see, but in the blog post, you're going to be able to grab the code. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to come in here and this will be blank. And then you're just going to paste it. You're going to scroll down and you're going to update company. It's going to say, oh yeah, I know I'm uploading some code. I'm responsible and we'll go proceed. 
Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh and you're going to be able to see that I've changed that favicon. It's popped in there really nicely. It's gone white for me. And that's everything that you need to white label. Now you can add some custom CSS if you like and change the look and feel of your app, which I do usually as well. And it's a bunch of code that if you are part of my affiliate, if you're an affiliate of mine, I do provide all of the code for you as well so that you can then come in and change it so that it looks a little bit nicer. With that, very simple to white label. It's really in the thinking and it's also really important to use a really great domain. I think one that kind of just slides off your tongue, like something that's just easy to pronounce, easy to say that people can remember. Client tracks was a good shot. I liked it. So I was really grateful when I found the .com available. There are many benefits to white labeling go high level. I think you really need to take a look at them. The first one would be branding that we touched on. You can upload snapshots that you have designed and have in not only your visual brand, but in your Inter your intellectual property in the way that it works for you and your niche that makes it very powerful for you and sets you apart from the competition because you can customize everything for them very powerful it's very cost effective for you as a business owner to build a software company that you do not have to develop and you can sell it at goodness it's up to i've heard crazy numbers like 10 times the run rate of it right so it's something to really think about and then of course, we've got this competitive advantage because if you are no longer having to push them over to other software, you could get your people to come to your software and then you could offer your unique sales process as well to your people and you're able to download it all into their accounts and you can just get them to customize it. Ooh, sexy, right? And of course you can scale it. It takes a bit to get her off the ground, but every business is like that, right? It's like pushing a rock up the hill. But once she gets rolling and you get this underneath you, get the branding and this little bit of this white labeling done first, then you've got the other things to think about, right? Sales, marketing, support, just like any business, but it's very scalable, very easy compared to scaling with done for you work or done with you work. So give that some thought. And if you're interested in becoming a go high level affiliate of mine, I'd love to have you. If you are looking at white labeling and you were wondering if it's for you, you certainly can jump on a call with me. If you're my affiliate, I'll do the setup for you. And if not, there are options down below for you to jump on calls at $150 an hour for me to just sit there with you and take care of everything that you need done. So it's done with you so you can learn along the way. I look forward to being on this journey with you. And if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below and subscribe, share. See you soon.